All right, so I'm doing a new video and it's been a little while. Uh, personally, I've been going through a few things as always. <laughs> so uh, I don't say that for sympathy, just that's where I've been. So uh, <clears throat> today's video is going to be the October boxy charm and some items that I've tried lately that I don't like. So I'm going to start off with the things that I don't like because I I'd like to end on a positive. So uh, today's look is all of Mary Kay, uh, with the exception of my primer, which was uh, Tarte's uh, primer. It's the blue one with the, uh, what's it called? I'm just getting the name of it. Uh, it's base tape. That's what it is. So I used uh, Tarte base tape uh, for my primer and moisturizer and then everything else I used for Mary Kay so I used the eyeshadow I used the CC cream and um, <clears throat> a lipstick uh, and the lip liner is from Stila uh, that was the one that my husband picked for me uh, when we were had the fire in August and we were out in the hotels and everything and I can't remember if I've told you that but we had a fire in the building we were gone for two weeks this was way back in August and uh, I might have missed it on another video, so I don't want to talk too much about it. Oh, and I did want to make a point about my videos because uh, I do these all in one take. There's no editing because it's just me. <laughs> so uh, someone said I should point that out because there's a lot of uh, YouTubers that do videos. Now, will I always do that? I don't know. Maybe if I get popular enough, I'll have a videographer. Uh, but for now, it's just me. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, the products that I don't like. So I've tried a few things uh, since, and these are products that I've gotten in BoxyCharm and Ipsy. Uh, so we'll start off with the one product that uh, I tried some face washing products. And so I tried Pharmacy Whipped Greens Oil-Free Foaming Cleanser. It had moringa and papaya in it. And uh, this, hopefully I can focus, that's it, yeah. So it's just a cleansing tube. And uh, it made my face break out. Now this took a while for it to do it, but it did. So um, that's no go for me. I have oily combination skin and recently the outside of my face is like wicked dry and the inside is oily. And, but I did break out on in the, with this cleanser and then the next cleanser I tried was this one, which is the uh, la, 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 uh, Vital Vita 12 Jelly Cleanser. It did feel good at first, but again, the uh, my breakouts just continued. That clicking is my wheelchair, just so you know. Of course, I'm not wearing any long sleeves or uh, loose sleeves, but I still actually hit the button. Uh, so that one I didn't, that one continued to have my face break out. And then this last one, I felt like it, I loved the smell. This is Honey Jarrett Clean Whip Cleanser. And I didn't even read the back. It's mild and deep cleansing. And yeah, and so I used this and I, it, oh, I love the smell. Oh my God, I love the smell. And, uh, but it didn't work for me either. It continued, my face just continued having little tiny whiteheads all over and no. So I stopped, went back to Mary Kay, wrong formula right now because I don't have any oily combination in my store, I've just ordered. And uh, so I'm using uh, normal oily just because it's, you know, winter and it's getting a little cooler. Um, and I just use toner on the oily parts to just hold it back a little bit. And my face cleared up right away. So, again, not just because I sell Mary Kay, but it does work for my skin really well. And I have a lot of confidence in that product. And I have other face cleansers I've got to try, so I will. But I'm just trying to let my face uh, relax a little bit and get back to normal. And then I will try another one again. So, so that was the cleansers that I didn't like. And I, I did give them, it was like over a two-week trial. And no, it just... I, once your face starts going funny, then just stop using it and try and figure out what it is. All right, so those were the cleansers. 
The next product I tried was the an eyeliner, and it was Aurora. Aurora Intensively Precise Eyeliner Espresso. So I was kind of excited to use this one. Here, I'll just move a little closer. It's, I mean, it's just a pencil. It's not, you know, and I told you the name. But I found that, I don't know if I can get the lid off to show you. Oh, yeah, okay. So I I got, like, it's a, sh uh, it's a sharp edge. There, you can see it on the light part of my comforter. Sorry, I'm wearing a dark, dark outfit. Christmas, you know. Uh, I love Christmas. So that is the pen there, but the, the, the end is far too stiff and I, it didn't line. Like I have my Mary Kay black liner and I've used it for months and it's still, uh, creamy. It goes on nicely. It's what I'm wearing today on my eyes and yeah, it just, it, yeah, this one didn't do it for me at all. So uh, that was Aurora, and that was in the Aurora Intensively Precise Eyeliner in Espresso. And it was water-based but and perfume-free, but no, I didn't like it. It didn't, it didn't glide on as nicely as I thought. Then the next one that I was really disappointed didn't work was uh, the Maneater uh, Mascara, and that is... I'm uh, just trying to see. God, I'm getting old. I can't read half the uh, products. It's made in Italy, from what I can see. <laughs> and uh, this is Voluptuous Mascara. And it's Maneater, I guess, is the product. Oh, no, it's Tarte. Tarte Maneater. I'll just show you the package because it's quite unique. So this is the package, and it's got the name Maneater on it. And, yeah, I just didn't find that the, the mascara went on very nice. And I'll try and use that edge. And I thought that I would like it. I think I showed you in the video that I, when I uh, unboxed this. And it's a very tube with a little sharp uh, bristles on it. And I thought I would really like it. And I didn't at all. Like, it didn't go on very nice. My lashes weren't covered. I mean, I don't have lashes to begin with. But this was horrible. Like, it didn't, yeah, I didn't like it at all. So that was the Maneater Tarte Mascara, and no, I didn't like that one at all. Uh, the next product that I tried, and that actually I tried this today, because I thought, well, I'll try something out so the, for when they make the video. And uh, this, uh, I didn't, I couldn't believe it because I love her. Uh, the Jamie from uh, from uh, It Cosmetics, uh, it. It was just didn't work for me at all, at all. This It Cosmetics, the CC cream, because Mary Kay has a CC cream as well, so I was wanting to try it. And it's got SPF 50, and, you know, I've heard so many things about it. And it was horrible. It was, it was terrible, like really bad. Like I could see all my pores, and this is the CC cream. Now I haven't tried the foundation. But I don't usually use a heavy foundation on my face because I don't really need it. Even though I have some blemishes and stuff, it seems that uh, foundation and uh, CC creams go on really well. And I really love um, Mary Kay's CC cream. So this one was a no-go for me. And I ended up using uh, Mary Kay today. And I used this as my foundation today. And I love our CC cream. Again, I couldn't sell it if I didn't like it, obviously, okay? So, uh, I feel like Jacqueline Hill with Morphe. <laughs> Anyways, she doesn't sell Morphe. I mean, not directly anyways. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, and for those of you who don't watch YouTubers, she's a, you can find her on YouTube all over the place. And she is, uh, I like, I enjoy watching her. She's fun. Uh, so, what else didn't I like? I didn't like, believe it or not, there's a Mary Kay product that I didn't like. And uh, it was our brush. It was this brush. I did not like it at all. I didn't find it spread out. Um, I I have yet to try it. I tried it for my foundation, like complete, and the bris the bristles are really nice. Like they're tightly packed. It's not like I'm gonna get rid of it. I just gotta find a use for it. But for foundation, I didn't like it at all. 
Uh, it's our blending brush and uh, yeah, blending brush. And it, I didn't like how it applied my foundation. Um, but I use this, sorry, I gotta remember to wear lighter clothes in the future, but I love Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't, I didn't like this brush for foundation. Now I'm going to try it for under eye or some kind of concealer because I, but I don't really use concealer either. I don't have, uh, dark circles under my eyes. Uh, you can't tell cause I don't have glasses on, but I have still pictures on my, uh, Instagram and Facebook and wherever else I'm in social media. <laughs> Uh, but I, yeah, this didn't like it, but I'm going to keep it. I'll try and find it. Maybe there's a use for it. Might still have certain powers. Same with our next item. And that is the Morphe blush brush. Morphe. This is a nice brush. I love the, oh, it's got powder on it from the container I put it in. I have little baskets for, to keep things in straight. So uh, this one, I didn't, I don't like it for blush, but I realized with the, the angle, you see, oh, I can show you against my chest here. Uh, it's got an angle. So I thought I could use it for highlighter. Like I have highlighter on and I used a different brush at the time, but then I thought, well, maybe I could use this. The reason that some of these brushes don't work for me is because of the angle of how I do my makeup. And so traditionally items that people use for certain things on their face doesn't necessarily work for me. And so I have to find a different purpose for them uh, because I'm just not uh, doing it at the same angle at all as, uh, you know, able-bodied people. Um, but it, they're beautiful brushes and there's nothing wrong with them. And as far as, you know, able-bodied or someone who can use it properly or the way it was intended, uh, would probably have no problem with them. I, 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 the brushes are really nice though. Like there's no, uh, it's the bristles are really nice. You know, this one's really tightly packed, like really. And then this one's lightly in fluff because it's a blush brush, you know, but they didn't work for me for what they're intended for. So, and, oh, what else didn't I like? Oh, I have this. I can, I can't even see it because it's clear. I tried the James Charles palette and I have pictures that I'll have to post now that I'm making this video when I upload it. Um, I don't know if it'll show up on the camera, but I, I got his palette and there's no names on the palette itself. It's on this cover that you get. See, you can see the little words. You don't need to read it, but you see all the little words. The name of the colors from the palette. Now, I don't really care what names they are because I'm just using it on my face. I mean, the main reason that you would need the name is to tell somebody, you know, what um, what color you're using. And um, but yeah, I didn't really like this at all because uh, yeah, you can't share what colors you used other than you know you know green, brown. <laughs> You don't get to use the fancy names like Flashback and Pin Up and Sister. Uh, so Good and uh, Rusted Halloween. Um, so yeah, it had some cool names. I didn't like the green formula from what I remember on the James Charles. I used the orange and I'll be posting pictures on my Instagram. Uh, I just found the green didn't work. And, and you know what's funny is that I used green today uh, because a customer of mine, uh, a Mary Kay customer of mine, she wanted the emerald green. And I thought, you know, I haven't used green in a long time. And I was wearing my Christmas outfit and, uh, you know, and then I thought, well, I'll go just for the full out Christmas look and go with uh, um, the green in my eyes and then some red on my lips. And because uh, sometimes you're supposed, you know, you're supposed to be nude with your eye color, but or if you have a dark color, but I don't subscribe to that. I think if it looks good, why not go for it? Just all in, you know, kind of thing. So, uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, so, uh, I didn't like the green on James Charles, but I liked ours, which is Emerald Noir, no, Noir, Noir. And I really like that. So I'm just putting these things back in the basket so I can get my assistant to, 
some of them I'm putting in the giveaway and some of them I'm just getting rid of. <laughs> so, some of them are so small though that they're, you know, this, like the CC cream from It Cosmetics is so small. That's not worth it. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but I'm glad it was just sample size. So I'm not wasting a lot of product. And, uh, you know, so I, I didn't find it. But please comment down below if you've used any of these products. And, uh, you know, let me know what you uh, what your experience was. I would really love to hear about it. So I'm just going to put this basket aside. See, I got acrylic baskets. They're fabulous. So I'm just going to put this down and I'm going to get the other one. And you can't, oh, you can't see Shadow, but she's here with me, helping me out. She's sleeping. All right, so now we're going to get into the uh, Boxy Charm, uh, the uh, October box, because I got it. And I haven't looked, I haven't tried anything. I've been looking at this basket on my desk, and I was like, oh, i got to film it, because I want to try this stuff. And uh, so it's just a tease for me to have everything uh, right in front of me. All right, so... Uh, first of all, uh, we're going to try, we're, oh, we're going to look at, not try. <laughs> uh, this is Laura Geller Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer. Hydrate, moisturize, and replenishes. And it's 59 mLs. And its claim to fame is Farewell Dry Flaky Skin. Quench your skin's thirst with this two-in-one moisturizer and primer and save time on your beauty regime. I can't read it anymore because it's really hard to see. Even with my glasses on, I feel like I need my, my great uncle Arthur's uh, magnifying glass. My mom still has it. <laughs> That's how he saw things that were too small. I could take my phone and take a picture, but uh, I've discovered that little trick. Take a picture and then zoom in on it. Works great. Uh, so anyway, you it's a primer, so you apply it to the clean skin just before you uh, put on your makeup, and there is the bottle, and it's just a pump, it's a pump lid. Uh, oops, there we go. So that's Laura Geller. So that's the primer. Uh, it's quite a large uh, amount, so I look forward to trying it. And then next is, in this, uh, we have a tint with a Y. And it's, oh, it's a Lash and Brow Duo. And I'll get it out of the box here. I usually take everything out of the boxes. I'm not really unboxing anything because I've already unboxed it. But I just feel you don't need to see me wrestling with the box. And just get to the product, right? <laughs> so, oh, oh, yeah, I remember this. This is a duo-ended uh, affair here. It's got two ends. And you can see the brown and the black. And... Uh, it's a lash and brow duo so the lash is the black side I assume is mascara so it uh, it just untwists and then you get the oh mascara is in the other end oh no that's right okay so oh here's tiny little tiny little bristles now, let's see if I can turn this around and okay oh there my we'll use my chest so that's or my neck I guess my decolle so they say uh yeah it's like a cone shaped uh mascara and uh it's pretty dense brush so i look forward to trying that and we'll put that back in so that's the lash side which was the black end and it's a really nice shiny metallic and it feels very luxe and i'm not familiar with this brand as to whether it is really luxe or not um, and then this is the brow side. Oh, I see. And then it's got a little brown, tiny little, like a mascara. I don't know if I can do it on the, ah, there on the bed. But it's tiny. They're just like mascara wands, but they're like microscopic. Now, I don't use this, but since I've opened it now, I can't really give it to anybody else. Not that I've used it, but I've opened it, and so I've let air in. Um, I'm going to be brave one day and try this, but I don't have my whole brow. Like, I just have the beginning half, and then I draw in the rest. So to put this stuff on uh, would make it just more prominent that I, you know, whereas with the pencil I've managed to blend it in so it looks all normal uh, as much as possible. So, but 
you know, Mary Kay has a product like this as well with the brow stuff, and I have to try it out. Uh, I have a friend that wants to try it out, so perhaps I'll film her using it and then get her thoughts on it. That might be a good idea. So let me know down below if that's something you'd be interested in. Uh, so the next product that we have is called Appeal Adhesive Liquid Liner in Jet Black. Oh, yeah. This is its, um, its eyeliner and it is adhesive. So you, uh, instead of having the regular lash glue, you have this and you just uh, put on the liner. So then you have black eyeliner, there's no white glue, and then the lashes stick on because I did get lashes in this box and so I guess this is what it's supposed to go with. Uh, so just opening the box, believe it or not, this is one that I didn't open. And of course I don't have any tweezers to break into the box because <laughs> they have to seal it for safety. Uh, so let's see if I can get it out of the box. Yes. Well, it doesn't matter if I destroy the box. I usually do because it's like near impossible. Some of the stuff is so tight in packaging and it's like, how do you expect to let anybody in on this stuff if you can't even get in the damn box? <laughs> so, yes. And it's tightly packed in there. So I'm just trying to get it on the seam and just open the box. But of course, I, <laughs> I cut my fingernail off one finger. And so that happens to be the one that I need to pull this little thing out of here they've got it uh they've got it in these boxes that have like um they're split diagonally inside it is a long thin box and then it's got the divider like across so it's like two triangle here maybe i can show you inside what i mean see that little so that little inside it keeps the pen tight in the packaging which i guess is good for you know so this is uh, for transportation, that's the word I'm looking for. This is a peel adhesive liquid liner in jet black. Okay, I'm just gonna take the lid off and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, you got your standard eyeliner pen and it's pretty, ah, there we go, right on my neck there. I can just see the tip on my shirt. And it's just like every other liquid eyeliner except with the fact that it's sticky so oh and the lid's got a spring on it i just put it in and i don't know if it's because it's airtight or if there's a spring it must be airtight um so that's good because uh it'll keep it moist uh so that's the eyeliner and then i'll show you the lashes that go along with it i'm not going to open the package because i don't want to wreck them right now but uh there we go those are nice lashes not too crazy so yeah and the lashes are, I assume, by the same people. Uh, no, it's uh, Camara Anique Beauty. Camara Anique Beauty. And uh, yeah, they seem to have a nice, uh, nice logo, and they got nice lashes. So I, I look forward to trying them. I haven't used lashes yet. I still have uh, quite a few to try, and I just haven't had the time to try it out although you'd think because i'm home with these problems that i would have time but unfortunately the medication i'm on kind of messes with my head so uh it's kind of taken away from my uh enjoyment of products at the moment so this is the card that came with the boxy charm and the theme is spellbound and I'll just read that in a minute because that gives us the prices for the products. And then I got this product and it is uh, m called Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette and it's a uh, beauty bakery. Oh, they had the cute um, baking setting powder. It looked like a flower box. So this one has a honeycomb. You can see the name and that's the packaging and I'm going to rip into it in a second and show you inside and see what the highlight looks like. Hopefully I won't have to tear it apart, although I won't keep the cardboard anyways, because once it's out of the cardboard, that's it. All right. Well, that was good. At least I didn't have to wrestle with it to get it out. So I, without the honeycomb, uh, that's what it looks like. And 
let's open it up and see because I can't remember and yeah because I took the plastic out because it always always jabs the uh, the product and then it makes it messy oh Rex is going to be on our video because he's meowing in the background or he's going to start meowing okay and that's the color so we got a white a pinkish kind and then some darker uh, highlighters so some of them I use is eyeshadows and some I use as highlighter I really like those colors they look really nice and they're called the pink one was oh honey uh, the light light beige one was spoiler alert and then the light brown was be sweet and the dark brown is queen being <laughs> so uh, that's good so that's a highlight palette I like it Anne. I like highlight palettes and so now we have the card and let's see what the card has to say. Oh, it opens up too. This is the first time it's opened up. Oh, it's telling us stuff. Let's see. Uh, oh, boxy breaking news. Add-ons and pop-up got a makeover. Uh, oh, it's members only. Let me. <laughs> for, uh, for things that I can go shopping for. So I get a discount because I'm part of this Boxy Charm monthly uh, subscription. So it just is telling me about things that are coming up for Boxy Charm for me. And then on the back, it tells you all the information. So let me read the uh, information. So the the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Highlighting Palette is thirty-eight dollars. The Laura Geller uh, the Spackle is thirty-two dollars. The Tint Lash and Brown, the duo one with the black and brown ends, that's $29. And the Camara Anique Beauty, the uh, the lashes are $25. And then the Appeal Cosmetics, the Adhesive Liquid Liner is uh, $29. So that's pretty good. That's uh, $25, $50, $75, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000,